it's Christy. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be making a card using this super cute new set from Lawn Fawn called Mom Plus Me. And then I'll also be using these birch trees from Joy to the Woods. So to begin, I'm going to go ahead and zoom in for you so you can see the coloring a little better. And I'm going to be making this mom and baby owl look like uh, snowy owls with my Copic markers. So to begin, I'm going to take my W00 marker and I'm going to lay in just a little bit of shadows. And then I'm going to grab my W1 and I'll just deepen that a little bit. Sticking to the outside edges so that it gives the owls a little bit more of a rounded appearance and makes them look a little bit more natural, brings them to life on the page. And then I'm going to grab my W3 marker and I'm just going to add a little bit more shading just in the deepest, darkest areas. And then I'll go back in reverse order and blend all of that out. So once I was happy with my shading, it was time to move on to the feathers. And um, for that, I googled snowy owls so I could kind of give myself an idea of how I wanted the end result to be. So then I grabbed my W7 and my W9, and I began laying in the W9 first. And I was just doing these kind of broad U-shapes um, in the feathers because that's kind of what they looked like to me on the pictures that I saw. And then I blended those out with the W7 to kind of blur them a little bit and make them look as if they're fading into, you know, the white feathers as well. So I used the W7 and the W9 on the mom owl. And then when I was done with her, I added the W5 for the baby. So I just started with the W7 and then blended that a little bit with the W5 to so that he would have a little bit of a lighter appearance, just to differentiate the two. So this is actually for the current lawnscaping challenge, which is a color splash challenge, which means that the cards are supposed to be black and white with just a pop of color. And I chose aqua for my color, so I am just adding in some BG11 and some BG13 to color in the owl's beaks. And then I'll also color in the mama owl's feet with those two colors. Um, I forgot to do it now, but I'll remember and do that after I die cut the image. So I also just wanted to add a little bit of shading to my tree stump. There are some roots that are in front of others, but since I just stamped it with the solid black um, Mento Tuxedo Black ink, it kind of lost its dimension. So I just want to go in and add a little bit of that back with my C3 and blend that out with my C0. And especially I'm going to do that in that little heart cut out in the base of the stump where I stamped the me plus you. There are three different options to stamp in that little heart, um, and that's the one that I chose. So I'll just finish up that, and then we'll move on to our card assembly. So I've got a piece of pattern paper here from the Let's Boca in the Snow 6x6 from Lawn Fawn, and that was my inspiration for the my pop of color being aqua. So I'm just going to add some Tombow Mono Multi to that, and I'm going to adhere that to some black pearl cardstock from Crafter's Companion. And I've cut that with the Lawn Fawn Scalloped Rectangle Dies, and the, um, the Let's Boca piece is cut with the Stitched Rectangle Dies from Lawn Fawn. So I've got two pieces of snow here that I die cut with the hillside borders, the stitched hillside borders. And I'm going to add one with some foam tape um, and the other one I'm going to adhere to the card flat. So I'm just going to lay the top one up down there first so I can see where I want the, the back one to go. And then I'll just press that into place. And then I can go ahead and peel off that release paper from the foam tape and I'll adhere that one popped up over top. And then I'm just going to take my stump since that's going to be the focus of the scene and the other trees are going to be more in the background. So I'm adhering that down with some foam tape and then I'm going to grab my owl and adhere that with some foam tape towards the top and a little Tombow Mono where the feet will overlap the stump. 
and just press that into place. And then I'm going to go ahead and grab those birch trees and I'll just tuck them in the back so that they look like they're in the distance. I'll do some um, behind the first snowbank and some behind the second snowbank. And I'm just adhering those flat with some Tabo Mono Multi and then cutting off any excess that overlaps onto the black panel. I'll grab some Scotch 3M foam tape to adhere that whole panel to a white note card. This is Spectrum Noir Ultra Premium White card stock folded to a standard size card. And then I'm going to grab my Wink of Stella and I'm going to do a double layer on these birch trees on the side where it's shaded just to add some sparkle since it is a winter scene. And I'll also add some to the heart on this tree stump. But that's going to complete our card for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. You can find the Lawnscaping Challenge blog at lawnscapingchallenges.blogspot.com and enter into our Color Splash Challenge. Thank you so much for watching. If you missed my last video, it's there for you on screen right now. You can go ahead and click the little video clip and it will take you right to it. Thank you so much again. Bye-bye.